Now, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman has been known for his quest for absolute power. But one man has eluded his grasp, grasp for the longest time. And now, the same man has accused the Saudi Crown Prince of an assassination plot. Saad Al-Jabri has now accused MBS of sending a hit squad to Canada in order to kill him. The former intelligence official is a close aide of the ousted Crown Prince Mohammed bin Naif. According to Al Jabri, the failed plan to kill him came just after the killing of Jamal Khashoggi. According to the lawsuit filed by Al Jabri in the United States, the former top intel official says that MBS wanted him assassinated back in 2018. The complaint alleges that the assassins are part of a so called tiger squad of Crown Prince's own personal mercenary group. According to the lawsuit, they attempted to covertly enter Canada on tourist visas around October 2018. The alleged plot failed when Canadian border agents grew suspicious of the hit squad trying to enter the country. So why does the Saudi Crown Prince want Al Jabri dead? In 2015, when King Salman ascended the throne, Al Jabri was appointed to a cabinet level position. He later became an advisor to former Crown Prince Bin Naif. Al Jabri was already abroad in June 2017 when MBS seized power in the palace, ousting Mohammed bin Naif. He currently lives in Canada in exile and is believed to have in his possession crucial documents that MBS is desperate to get his hands on. The documents are a double-edged sword for MBS. They contain damning details about King Salman and his own financial dealings. At the same time, they also contain hard evidence of corruption against bin Salman's political rivals. In an effort to coerce him, MBS arrested the ousted Crown Prince Bin Naif and two other senior royals on March 6. A few days later, Saudi authorities arrested two of Al Jabri's adult children in an effort to lure him back to Saudi Arabia. However, Al Jabri remains a key ally of the West in developing Saudi Arabia's counter terror operations. The lawsuit even mentions MBS wanted to kill him because Al Jabri could threaten his position with the US government. It says, and I quote, Dr. Saad is uniquely positioned to existentially threaten defendant bin Salman's standing with the US government. That is why defendant bin Salman wants him dead. Now, according to US intel sources, the country has been tracking all attempts made against Al Jabri. But Al Jabri could become an even greater threat to MBS if Donald Trump loses his re election bid in November. While Trump has waived concerns over human rights abuses and illegal detentions by MBS, a Biden administration is unlikely to take a similar stand.